Hello everyone and welcome to Singing Tips Live. My name is Benita Charles and this is the last Singing Tips Live show of 2019. We are almost at the new year and new decade of 2020. Uh, but I wanted to come on and thank you guys so much for your support of the show this year and through the years. And uh, just give you some highlights from 2019 and beyond the whole decade. <laughs> but um, just to give you an introduction to who I am, my name is Benita Charles. I am a New York vocalist, uh, performer, uh, producer. And I come in every week and I give artist development tips. It's called Singing Tips Live, but it's artist development tips for artists to take their careers to the next level. A lot of my tips are universal and can apply to any profession. So a lot of people have found value with these tips. Hi, Sierra. Happy holidays and happy new year coming up. But this is the last singing tip show of 2020 I'm sorry, of 20 of 2019 <laughs> we're going into 2020 hi Robert thanks so, so much for coming in um, so this is the last singing tip show of this year and I had a few highlights that happened to me this year um, you know it's funny because I was thinking oh I didn't do anything but when I really sat down and I thought about everything that happened a lot of gr great things happened this year um, that I'd like to share with you guys and even in your own life you may feel like oh I really didn't do anything but if you stop and think about the things that happened to you this year or the good things you'll realize there's a lot of great things happen that then you think about so um, it's, it's something really good to do for yourself to just really take take the time and reflect and really look at your accomplishments Happy holidays! Thank you so much. Uh, yes, we are still in the holiday season. Um, most of the decorations are still up. People don't take them down until after New Year, so we are still in the holiday season. Happy holidays to you. I hope you had a great Christmas. Hi, Auntie. Thanks so much for coming in. Happy holidays. Uh, we are... 2020 is winking at us, <laughs> but we're, we're not there yet. But I had a few things that happened to me this year that I'd like to highlight. And as I said before, I'd like to encourage you to take a reflection before the new year and just think about everything that you've accomplished this year and things that the good things that's happened. As I said before, I was uh, thinking, oh, I didn't really do anything. But when I sat down and I really wrote, happy holidays, when I really wrote out, you know, that things that happen I'm like oh okay so you know pat, pat yourself on the back you deserve it so uh, 2019 was the year of marketing on singing tips live most of the most of the tips that we discussed were marketing related you know uh, we talked about digital marketing we talked about influencing marketing or influencer marketing we talked about social media marketing so a lot of the tips was geared towards marketing and personal branding and it's really important, especially now, whatever you're trying to do is to put your personal brand out there because your personal brand will go a, a long way in, in terms of what you're trying to do. Because you may, you may change professions or you may change uh, products, but your personal brand will stay the same. And if people gravitate to you as a person and your personal brand, no matter what you do, you'll always have your audience. So that was the biggest takeaway in terms of uh, marketing this year is really focusing on personal branding. Um, my music was featured this year in the Women of Substance radio podcast and Spotify playlist. Um, I had something for Valentine's Day and then something for the holiday. So I was really um, thankful to Bree Noble, who is the owner, creator, and um, moderator of that platform. Also, my music was fo was featured on Ramsey Unleashed, Going Beyond Borders in Scotland. Um, I created a special feature called 60 Second Singing Tips for his platform. Um, that's going to pick, it's on a hiatus right now, but that's going to pick up in the new year. And I want to thank Fraser Ramsey of uh, the Ramsey Unleashed podcast for uh, always supporting my music and 
and encouraging me to create the 60 second singing tips so so that was really exciting and that happened this year also i developed the singing tips picture quotes if you ever if you follow my page or, or social media i have a picture a singing tip picture quote and at first it was random but then i decided to do the quotes in relation to the previous singing tip show so whatever i discussed on this singing tip show the quote would relate to that so now if you see the quotes then you'll understand the logic behind it uh, like i had a quote that said um show up and i always talked about hi erica thanks so much for coming in orlando um, I always talk about showing up, you know, when you have a performance, make sure you get there, make sure you show up. So I had a singing tip quote that said show up. So um, if you notice the quotes, now you get the the correlation because I just thought it would be, uh, you know, interesting to tie it into the show. So that's something I decided to do a little bit later on w when I developed the singing tip quotes. Um, also this year, I presented an autobiograph autobiographical one-woman show at the Harlem Library, and they asked me to do it twice. So that was exciting. My first one-woman show was se several years ago called Moments in Love, and I created the CD from that. But this show was very personal because I took you on the journey from when I first discovered that I could sing at a very early age in church and I you know went through my college years and in my Detroit developing years and then also here in New York so it was a really great show and um, that's something that I created this year so that happened in 2019 and it's, I have the top five singing tip live shows of 2019 so the first show was uh, my highlights from the Make Music New York concert. The highlights shows seem to be very popular, but this one was the most popular. It had 179 views, so that was um, exciting. And I also shared a, a, a touching moment that happened in that show where there was a lady who was ill and she was passing through the, the concert and they, her nurse and had stopped her, you know, they stopped to hear the music and she had a reaction to the music. Her, her son came up to us after the show and said, he was really excited because he said his mother was dying. And that music, the music that she heard, that was the first time that he saw a reaction in her. So that was really, you know, exciting. And um, I posted, the, highlights from the concert and that had a lot of views that had over 250 views so um that was you know one of the really exciting shows of this year the second highest rated show was the beetle house show that featured special guest joshua ramos he, he's an up-and-coming chef that i uh, met at my job and he's a you know really exciting young man he really has a good head on his shoulders and I wanted to feature him on the show, and that was one of our highest rating shows. We had two parts to that show. Hi, Ivory, thanks so much. Ernesto, hello, thanks for coming in. Happy holidays, guys. Um, the first part was at the restaurant Beetle House, and it's a whole theme, a macabre Beetle Juice theme, and it's really a great restaurant. Um, they just really put a lot of detail into the, the decor. The, the menu, everything is related to Beetlejuice. And we, we had an appearance. He came into the restaurant and he was a riot. <laughs> Very unfiltered. But it, I had to do a disclaimer. <laughs> but that was such a fun show. We had dinner there. And after dinner, we did an after show where we were outside and we talked about the experience. And it was just an amazing experience. A great, uh, he was a great guest. And, um, it was just a wonderful show and our part two had 144 views so it was a that was back in june um so that was amazing um the first show that i mentioned the make music new york show that was our highest highest rated show that was in june also that was the end of june um well, well the show was the 21st of june that's the la the first day of summer the longest day of the year 
Um, and so that was the first one. The second one was Beetle House featuring Joshua Ramos, an up and coming chef. It was such, that was, that was a lot of fun. So number three was My Lessons from the Super Bowl. And that aired in February, on February 3rd. So that was a very popular show. It was 149 views. And um, that show, I do it every year. And in that show, I do lessons from the Super Bowl and lessons you can learn in sports. I mean, sports, really, you can learn so many lessons from watching. Um, I, just to give you an example, there was a, a game on last night between Crimson and uh, Ohio State. I don't know if you guys saw that show, that that um, game. I ha happened to catch the last few minutes of it. And it was so exciting. Just the last few minutes was exciting. That's the really great thing about football. You can, in the beginning, you can be doing terrible. And, and that's kind of what happened with this team. Um, the quarterback at the end of the game was saying how they, he felt like they really weren't playing a, their best and it wasn't a good game for them. And they ended up winning at the last few minutes, a uh, few seconds, really. <laughs> they threw a, a, a football a, a touchdown at, like at the last few seconds and they won the game. So, you know, that's kind of how life is. You can, you know, things can be going really terrible or whatever, but you just have to keep the faith and you just have to hang in there and things can turn around and you can, you know what I mean? So that's what I really love about uh, sports is it really parallels to life. So that was a popular show that I did for the Super Bowl. That was back in February. Um, and my the fourth one was the show I did on personal branding. And that was uh, June 2nd. That had 141 views. Um, and really, personal branding is king right now. I mean, if, if you have a business or if, you, if you're an artist, if you, um, whatever you're trying to do, you really need to brand yourself and you really need to, to show people the face behind the product, behind the, you know, the music, behind the brand, but behind whatever you're trying to do. Um, people like that personal touch and people uh, will buy or will be attracted to people they know, and people they um, like. So building your personal brand is very important and that was one of our popular shows this year. Um, number five was my fourth anniversary show and that was April 2nd. That had 140 views. Um, and it was exciting, and I mean, I, I posted it as the third anniversary, but it actually was the fourth anniversary. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. But that was a very popular show as well. So that was my top five shows of 2019. Number one was uh, Highlights from the Make Music concert that was aired on June 22nd. Number two was the Beetle House show featuring special guest Joshua Ramos. Um, that was on June 15th. Um, number three was Lessons from the Super Bowl, and that was February 3rd. Number four, Personal Branding, that was June 2nd. And fourth anniversary show was April 27th. So those were the top five shows of 2019. Now, we are at the end of a decade. So from 2010 through now is, uh, was a whole decade. So I, I was thinking about, uh, you know, what was some of the significant things that happened to me in the last decade? So I have four things. Yeah, I have four things that <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's more than four things in the decade. But these are the four things that I wanted to highlight. So the first thing is uh, last year in 2018, I released my single, Never Ever Give Up, in the music, my very first music video ever. And that was really exciting. Um, I hadn't released the song in, um, the, in, in the decade, the 2010 decade, because the previous release was 2007, which was Moments in Love. And in 2006, I released we can make a difference EP. So I hadn't released any music. Now I had been performing all these years, but I hadn't really taken the time to just release something new. So that was the first single of that the decade 2010. 
and uh, I did the, did the music video, so that was really exciting. I got a, a lot of great uh, feedback, and people really en enjoyed the video and the song. So that happened in 2010. Uh, number two, I wanted to highlight the Benita Charles Trio. Now, we've been together for over 10 years, but when I first got my music together, I had a band. I had uh, piano, bass, drums, and... I really just find that the trio works better for me. It's like a smaller ensemble. Um, we pretty much can do any, we try to do songs that, that require a lot of music, but we still do it anyway, and it kind of works out. <laughs> it really works out a lot of times. But I find that I really like working with a smaller ensemble. I've been working with Peter Archer and Cheo, Peter Archer guitar, Cheo uh, Rodriguez on the percussion for years and they're really great musicians great guys and we you know we have a great chemistry and we uh, have a great chemistry when we, when we perform and I like to perform in intimate settings so the trio works out really great so number three is performing with Preacher Man and the Revival um, if you notice I do uh, mention that I perform with them and that's a huge band it's like a 10 piece band uh, Preacher Man is the lead and, and uh, the band leader, and he's the lead singer as well. I sing background in that project, and um, this project has piano, bass, drum, two guitars, uh, it has sax and uh, trumpet and percussion, and so it's a huge uh, group, but the, the very professional musicians. We've been performing together for years. I've really grown as a performer, performing with uh, Preacher Man. He's a dynamic performer. He's talented. He really knows how to connect with his audience and create such a, a wonderful experience. If you have not experienced the Preacher Man and Re Revival show, we have a special co show coming up for New Year's Eve at Rubelat. We'll be back there again, ringing in the new year. Come on out if you don't have anything going on for uh, New Year's Eve. Come on out and share the experience. It, it's such a, 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 it really is a spiritual, even though this is not a gospel group, but there is a spiritual element to the show. I mean, if you go in sad, upset, grumpy, um, annoyed, whatever, you come out lifted, encouraged, full of love and joy and happiness. And, and it's just a wonderful experience. So. If you have not experienced Preacher Man, uh, please, it, his videos does not do him justice. You have to be there in the room, feeling the energy from the love from the band, the love in the room. It's, it's incredible. It is incredible. So I feel like um, that is a highlight for me in terms of this whole decade. I mean, we've been performing together uh, through the years, uh, especially this decade. So I wanted to highlight that. And number four, I wanted to highlight the um, Singing Tips Live show, the show that we're on now. This is something that I created this decade. And um, I created, it's funny, I created this show for other people. I created this show because I had some young artists who really didn't know what to do. And so I created this show as a way to reach out to them and um, other artists to just kind of give some, share my experience, um, some ideas, some things I learned from other people um, and, you know, things I've researched. But it's really grown and mushroomed into something beyond what I, what I set out to do. Um, it's reached people who are not singers but um, encourage people and um, to to live in their their to live their dreams and live in their truth. Oh, thank you, Tommy. Appreciate that. To live in their dreams and to um, live their best life and and to share their gifts. So I really gotten a lot of great feedback over the years. Oh, you too. Oh, thank you. Um, through the years of people who say they really like this show and it, they've really gotten a lot out of it but I want to tell you that I feel like this show has changed me as well 
because it's it's really helped me give me some perspective in terms of what my purpose is and what I'm trying to do and what I need to do and I never you know I really never thought about it in that sense you know I've always performed I love singing and I love I love uh, performing but I really didn't think about it in terms of a purpose and what is the purpose of it so this show really has uh open my eyes to that which I feel like has helped me to be a better performer and to give me some direction I have a tendency to kind of float around I'm a floater (laughs) I just float around but it really helps to have direction because without direction you really just you know just sail off in the abyss and (laughs) you really go in circles so I think that's the really great thing that this show has helped me do is to give me uh, a better direction of what I need to do. So I thank you for your support. I thank you for tuning in every week throughout the years. And I look forward to 2020. I have some ideas uh, of what I like to do. I um, won't share them now. <laughs> I'd rather wait. But um I just really thank, I just want to take the time out to thank you guys for your support this year, 2020, 2019, and the coming year. Um, And just throughout, because we've been together for four years, next year will be five. So that is our day. We haven't had quite 10 year decade yet, but that is the length of time that I've been with you all. And I just want to thank you again for your support. As I said before, um, the next performance is uh, oh, thank you. Uh, okay, I'm trying. I'm sorry. Try, I'm trying to read Tommy's comment. He made a really good comment. Uh, you are very in tune with yourself. Most of us have a, have a focus on how we affect others not as much how we are affected right and that's in the beginning i was focused more on you know helping people and trying to get this information out but in the process it really i had to do some uh inter inter uh, you know what i'm trying to say uh, not interflection but you know we (laughs) interprospection i can't say i'm sorry (laughs) sometimes i get a little loopy but I had to really uh, look it within myself and under because I was there was a show that I did on purpose and I was thinking about my purpose and and doing this show helped me understand what my purpose is and so I I think that that was significant because you know without a purpose sometimes you really don't you don't make any progress you know you you just you're doing things you're busy but if you don't have that purpose because and, and having these goals that's the thing I had goals I always had goals but you have to have that purpose that work those goals work towards that purpose and it all makes sense and when I really thought about it in that sense everything became clearer uh, inter, introspection oh maybe that's the word introspection I guess I can think of the word. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> but yeah, just looking within, and when I had, when I was, um, you know, teaching you guys and doing that show on purpose, it really, um, and also I want because our next show coming up, New Year's, will be the New Year's goal show. You know, New Year's resolution, New Year's goals, but. It really helps you in that sense when you're doing your goals, you know, you really need to have your purpose in mind because all those goals that you have, those goals work towards that purpose. So that's, I feel like that's the number one thing that when you're thinking about your New Year's resolutions, um, which will, I feel like will help you keep those goals and resolutions when you, when they're, when they're rooted in a purpose. So you know, it all is connected, but yeah, so you guys really has helped me, just <laughs> said all that to say, you have helped me by helping you and by bringing this information to you and bringing my, sharing my experience uh, to you guys, it's also helped me, so um, 
let's continue on this journey together. I mean, we're we're all learning and growing together, um, and it's better when you have people coming along than doing it yourself. So I really appreciate you guys and I appreciate your support. Um, uh, as I said before, the show coming up, the next show is with Preacher Man in Revival for New Year's Eve at Rubelad. Um, if you want any more information about that show on my Facebook page, I posted the link to the tickets. Um, it is a uh, secret location, so um, you have to RSVP at rubelad at outlook.com for the Bushwick location. And also, the link, you can buy the tickets. The tickets are $25 in advance, and it will be more at the door, $30, I believe, at the door. Um, the link is on my Facebook page, and it's December Tuesday, December 31st. New Year's Eve at 11 p.m. So come in and, you know, ring in the new year with us and, and feel the love uh, and the joy of Preacher Man and the revival. It will definitely set your soul free. Um, I have, oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention that I started this year was the Facebook group. So it's the Singing Tips Live community. That's the name of the Facebook group. So we have a few, we have some members going in there strong. So thank you guys who, who sign up and um, please join the group. We, I, I post uh, the shows, I post other information um, and I'm looking forward to, you know, more connections and uh, maybe at, at some point continuing the conversation after the show. So, um, please join the, you can type in Singing Tips Live Community, and that will connect you to the Facebook group. So, that's another thing that we started this year in 2019. For more information about me and all my happenings, I try to keep everything up to date. You can go to BenitaCharles.com, and um, if you go to my, click on my blog, you can find all of the happenings and all the things that, uh, you know, I try to, the pictures that I post on social media, I put it on my blog so it stays there forever. Um, you will, you can click on my blog and find out more information about the New Year's Eve show. Also, recently I posted and I did a live uh, broadcast on the, 20, the 26th for Christmas in New York. So I took you guys to the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree and also the Saks Fifth Avenue light show. And um, I have highlights from th that on my blog. Um, and also on YouTube, I posted the, um, the, the live video. And also I took out the clip where I showed the light show. It was beautiful. And it's, you know, every year, they, they never disappoint. Their, their uh, theme this year was Frozen. So their window display had the Frozen um, theme characters. And I have pictures that I took of that. So it's really exciting. But yeah, BenitaCharles.com, you can go to my blog and always keep the date with what's going on. I keep my show information um, up there as well, so uh, you can always go to my website. But I want to thank you guys so much. This is the, the last show of 2019. Thank you again for all of your support this year and through the years, through the decade. Uh, our, our decade is five years <laughs> or four and a half years. But uh, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a happy holiday. I hope, uh, make the last few days count, you know, do your introspection. I think that's the word we said, Tommy, <laughs> introspection. And, um, you know, really pat yourself on the back because I'm sure if you stop and think about everything that you've accomplished this year, it's a lot. And you, you know, deserve... Uh, pat on the back so I, I want to congratulate you for all of your success and also just gratitude that we're still here you know we've lost several icons this year we've lost and you know I'm sure people all around the world have, have lost loved ones so just being grateful that we are still here and we have uh, lived this this whole year and um, looking forward to, God willing, a year ahead, a new decade. Um, and I feel like this is going to be a great 
decade, a great year. 2020 is going to be a great year. I just feel it in my bones. I wish that for you. I wish you have a wonderful um, new year full of love, happiness, joy, prosperity, wisdom. Um, um, you know, just, I don't know, <laughs> anything good, blessings for you. I wish that for you. Um, I just feel like this is going to be a great year. I feel like we, you know, let's just make it count. Whatever happened this year, just take it as a lesson and move into the new year with um, the wisdom that you've learned, um, the sense of pride of accomplishment and um, hope for the future. Oh, thanks so much for the hearts. I, I wish you all joy, love, happiness, peace safety have a wonderful new year's eve ringing into the new year have a a wonderful 2020 and i will see you again next time 2020 for singing tips live thank you for your support and many blessings to you